Hey guys, how you doing? It's been a while. I've been really busy. Working a lot of hours, which is kind of good. Uh, but before I head in tonight, uh, I want to talk to you guys about um, everything going on in the world. Everybody's worried about this uh, financial situation. They are trying to cat crash the economy. Because the best way to rebuild a new economy is through crashing. And again, it's... Uh, all this is a war between good and evil. There are good people in the world. Uh, a lot of people call them the white hats. And then there's the bad people in the world. And you all know what they're labeled as. So we're not even going to get into that. Uh, but I want to talk about finances. Everybody's focusing on the agenda they're pushing about the facial recognition and things like that. And the passports. Um, that's not the only way. But what uh, mainstream media is good at is uh, they're going to view and show whoever pays their bills, uh, whose ever hands or pockets, I should say, they have their hands in. And uh, that's a given. And you got some that are for the white hats and some that aren't. So, but the people have been trying to find a way. To uh, appease their agenda, the, the good points, because a lot of them are taking good points and using extreme measures uh, to enforce them instead of, you know, giving us the free will to do things right on our own. Uh, and do you know what that compatibility to the facial recognition is? Cryptocurrency. If you look closely, anybody that's trying to do any kind of cryptocurrency right now, uh, they're trying to keep capitalism going, which has been a pretty good system. It, it has been, despite all the years of having very powerful, greedy men in charge of stuff, uh, capitalism's worked for this country. Uh, and I think that's a lot of the problem, because you guys stop and think about some of these people that started at the bottom with capitalism and became millionaires and things like that. And everybody's forgetting all about that stuff. So, uh, that's our definition. You want to keep capitalism going? Do some research on cryptocurrency. That way we could still go paperless, which is a good thing. And, uh, we get to keep the capitalism in our earnings. I'm just saying, check it out. I'll talk to y'all on the flip. Aliens in movies labeled as real by government officials. The Zorgans from Zathura. In the movie, these beings called Zorgons raid the kid's house as they are attracted to heat. They are a vicious reptile species with interest in hunting heat sources and eating meat. Well, a man named Tim who was a tactical advisor in Germany says that the military knows these beings to be real. The species we are talking about, I know as being called by the greys as Zorgon. So far, we know that they are a malevolent species of reptilian from the Draco star system who like to take over other planets. They live in the vibration of fear so they feed off of it and enjoy anything related to it. And what's even scarier is that there's real life military men who have reported fighting these beings on Earth and what's wild is that there's multiple soldiers reporting this. Apparently, for now, the government is learning how to handle these intergalactic threats, but if these beings did ever try anything, other beings would obviously step in to help. I don't know about you guys, but I grew up watching this movie, and the fact that these beings are based off of real-life beings is mind-blowing. <laughs> 